is reported by Officer Nonvo. It all started when that weirdo got released from prison. No! Don't leave me, my love! I'm so sorry, my sweet darling Doris. Try to be strong. See ya! <laughs> Kept me hanging as usual, Chi Mama. <laughs> well, you know, my little cell block sweetie didn't want to see me go. So, how's our little family? Well, once we lost the bar, most of them took off. The only ones who stayed behind were Josephine and Caroline. Well, you know what they say about fair weather friends. I see. Couldn't you have at least found something better than this rolling trash heap? Quit your bitching! We have no money, you fruit! Ta-da! This is where we're going to rebuild our empire! Great. Welcome Come home, home Chi-Mama! Yeah. Oh, oh, I missed you! Oh, 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 I did yeah. too! Josephine, no fat chicks! Am I the only one who noticed we're living in a roach motel? Quit your bitching! I told you our purse strings were tight! Yeah, yeah. Besides, we need to focus on our main objective here. Right! right. To reopen the bar of Kemi! And get, get Moroccan, Moroccan sex changes! changes. But how are we going to do it? I have an idea. Then that bunch of weirdos, I, I mean the suspects, hatched a plan that night. Man, they really give me the heebie-jeebies. Listen up, girls. This is our big chance. All together now. Smiles, everyone! Congratulations on winning the Great Innovations Award. Gee, thanks, guys. I'm giving you all a special discount today, so stuff yourself silly! Right on! I knew I loved this place! Why do we always have to go to the same old place? Hey, Nando, you're the smartest! Thanks, Yuji. Yeah, Nando, you kick cerebral ass! Yeah, yeah. Yes, Nando. Your mental prowess is remarkable. Right. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So, what did you do that was so clever, Nando? Huh? huh? Hello? Don't you read the paper? She invented that thing. The, you know, the I invented a machine sky. called... The Optical Diet Machine! By bending and refracting visible light beams, it can create an absolutely perfect optical illusion. It's a revolutionary self-image enhancer. Isn't, Isn't it, Nongo? Um, right. Wow! So then what does it do? Well, the transmitter sends impulses to a special receiver that you wear. The impulses modify the light around the receiver. And the wearer can project whatever body image he or she wants the observer to see. It's a revolutionary self-image enhancer. Isn't, Isn't it, Nongo? Yeah, you got it. Maybe there's a way to modify it so I can see everyone in their underwear. I can finally fit into those fatigues. I can finally fill out a bikini. <laughs> hey, if you If you made those receivers portable, I bet you could make tons of money off something like that. Yeah. Tons of money? Say, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, make them real small. You'd be a millionaire overnight. It could work. What a great idea. Glad I thought of it. Sweetie. Yes, Rio. Don't you need an assistant now that you'll no, be rich? No, not really. Oh, come on. How about a bodyguard then? I said no. Hey, it's pretty dangerous for a pretty young thing to walk around here alone. Buzz off, Rio. 
It's dangerous for two pretty young things to walk around here alone at night. Uh, see? What'd I tell you? Maybe you're just a freak magnet. Hey! Are you aware that you're attempting to assault two officers of the law? And I'm also her bodyguard! Put a sock in it, Blondie. Yeah, put a sock in it. Stephanie! <laughs> uh, Stephanie? Long time no see. Stephanie! Ah, it's Timona from the tree! You captured the target and an extra hostage. Well done. Yeah! And that's how the suspects got Rio and me into custody. What exactly do you plan to do with us? Actually, my dear, this has nothing to do with you. And quit pointing the thing at me and put some pants on! What we want is the winner of the Great Innovation Award, the inventor of the optical diet machine. So you did all this because you were too lazy to go on a real diet? Actually, I go to great lengths to preserve my girlish figure. So stick your girlish figure into a pair of pants, for God's sake! Since we've been guests of the prison system, we've had some cash flow problems. So we've decided to pull a bank job to help us replenish our funds. Since our faces are rather well known these days, we want your little machine to help us do the job. So you want to alter your appearance so no one will be able to recognize you on the surveillance cameras. Oh, I get it. That's a pretty good idea. You are truly the Edison of our time, as opposed to the bimbo of the week like my Stephanie. I swear I'm gonna go ballistic if you don't put that thing away! We have an excellent reason for this. Isn't that right, girls? Right! right. To reopen the bar a chemist and get Moroccan sex changes! So thank you in advance for all of your help! No. Huh? I won't let you use my new invention to break the law, you jerk! Say what?! Jeez, you morons, we're a couple of officers of the law. We can't help commit a crime even if it is a good idea. I see. Then I guess it can't be helped. <laughs> Bring it on! Show me what you got! <laughs> what is it going to do with Rio? Oh, nothing really. We're just going to use Rio's screams of agony to convince you to help us. <laughs> <laughs> you really think that knife is gonna scare me? No, I think it's going to cut you up! <laughs> Leave her alone! That's enough! <laughs> Alright, I'll help you! Now that's more like it. We thank you for your cooperation. But I have some conditions of my own! Name them! I want Cafe Kamakuma cheesecake, some Bodiva chocolate, and a Maxi Damari cream puff! Okay, why? Because I missed dessert. I see. All your crying and whining have made me even more excited. Oh, I can't wait, my Stephanie! Hey. Huh? Did you gain weight? Yes, freak! Good morning, sweet Rio. Time for all good officers to be awake. What? 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 She's not there. Oh, man. That's not good! There! I did it! Huh? Finished? You are truly the editor of our time, as opposed to the bimbo of the week like my Stephanie. What the hell is that? Ta-da! This is the modified optical diet machine, Pink Elephant 2. I call it Penel Deluxe. I even made pretty little flower receivers. Oh, I feel like a princess. I feel like a flower pot. With our new images, this job is going to be a piece of cake. That's, That's right. right. So how does it work? A quick flick of the switch and here we go. Freaky! What the hell is this? That's the American mode. Like it? This will work. No one will recognize us. That's right. I refuse to walk around looking this hideous. I want you to change it immediately. Aww. Well, I thought it was pretty cool. Freaky! We look exactly the same. No, I think we're even more handsome and good-looking this time. Don't you agree, girls? That's right. Look, they don't need to look any uglier than they already are. Same to you. <laughs> I still think you look better. 
try the highest mode this time. Freaky! Oh, give me a break. Look out, boys. These gals are too hot to handle. Sexy dynamite! Quit screwing around. You just keep oh, doing the same no! thing over and over! <laughs> it really was dynamite. It's overheated. Well, it looks like somebody brought me a bunch of cheap parts. You got all those parts from a junkyard, didn't you, you cheap bitch? Well, yeah. For the last time, we don't have a lot of money right now. Especially after that what? dumb blonde ate all those expensive sweets. Uh, Stephanie! Listen, huh? you! My invention is very delicate, so it needs top-of-the-line machinery inside. So what should we do? What choice do we have? Just consider it an investment towards our future. And I always have a snack every day at 3 p.m. And I still haven't had my dessert! An investment towards our future. Oh, man. Yo, my love, where are you? Come back. I wonder where those two are today. Rio still hasn't come home. I can't believe Rio missed special discount ramen day. Where could my sweet Rio be? It's not unusual for Nonville to disappear into her lab for a few days. What's the matter with those two? Don't they take their jobs as police officers seriously? On our fourth day as hostages, I began construction on a second optical diet machine to modify the first, now defunct one. I swear that Matsumotoya's special Japanese beef bento is the best box lunch I've ever eaten. Ah, Shinichiro Kasumi. But the perpetrators began treating us worse and worse as time passed. After a while, they weren't even feeding us Makes decently. Me cry. Nothing beats watching three-legged race of love. You said it, sister. Hey, <laughs> huh? hey, Nothing beats watching Topo's triad kachin. Hey, that's funny. Makes me cry. Your Kamakuma cheesecakes and Badiva chocolate. And your Maxi Damari cream puffs. Knock, Knock yourself, yourself out. out! Thanks, girl. Uh, between the bento boxes, the expensive sweets, and all that top-of-the-line machinery, we're gonna go broke long before she ever finishes that thing. Right! Girls, we need to cut back our expenses. You can't replace me. I'm your right-hand girl. I've been too loyal to throw out like a dog. Everyone needs a hard-working fat girl. Well, that means <laughs> <laughs> we dump the fat, useless blonde. Huh? Hey, take me back, you bastard! Adieu, Stephanie! Adieu, Stephanie. Adieu, sir, don't call me Stephanie! I told you not to call me! That's how Rio, the fat chick, secured her own release. Good job, Rio! That should do it. <laughs> My great Penel Deluxe, you should be much sturdier than your brother. You're my big, beautiful metal baby, aren't you, sweetie? <sighs> wow, that's a pretty racy character for this early in the morning. This is the modified optical diet machine, Pink Elephant 3, Great Penel Deluxe. Twice as powerful as the original. Twice as nice. I also modified and upgraded the receivers. <laughs> Twice as pretty. Now I feel like a moron. Today we rob banks, tomorrow we conquer the world. Right, girls? That's, That's right. right. I feel dumb. This time I even added a handy remote control. Oh? Hold on to your girdles, girls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And now, to move on to phase two. But, but wait, what happened? <laughs> what the hell happened? I can't see a thing. In its highest mode, Great Penel Deluxe makes you completely invisible. Yeah, sweetheart, but we can't see anything either. Shut this thing off! <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, has anyone seen the remote control? Oh, yes! Oh, no! Hey, who grabbed my butt? Guess who? Who? What are you doing over there? Looking for the remote! You can't see anything, you dunce! Yeah, there! I said turn this off, not turn me off! That's enough! No! Hey, stay close, jerk -wise. I'm ready for round two! Here it is! After
after we make a few adjustments. On the ninth day of being held hostage, they forced me to abet them by using my optical diet machine to rob several banks. I'm live at the Neonuma Bukuro branch of the Yotsuboshi Bank, where yet another bank robbery took place last night. Once again, the surveillance cameras caught nothing on tape. This is the third <laughs> such robbery in three days. I never Police thought it would be this easy. Word up, girlfriend. But who can stop a group of invisible robbers? Mama, you're the smartest. <laughs> so how are we going to get rid of the girl? But Mama, if the great Pinel Deluxe breaks, we'll never be able to fix it ourselves. Will we? Huh? Wait, Besides, she's practically one of the family. I guess you're right. If the media got wind of the fact that police officers were involved in those recent bank robberies, the station's reputation would go right down the toilet. Oh, I agree. We can't allow that to happen. Why don't you just let Warrior handle this? Yes, thank you, sir. So, you can't remember a single thing about where they held you? Mm -mm. You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. You will remember details of where you were held captive. Now! Wow, that was a big fat waste of time. Maybe she's still on the sleepy part. Special bento. Huh? Matsumoto, your special bento. That's it, Ryo. Anything else? Kamakuma cheesecake. Huh? But I have a chocolate. Maxi Demari Cream Puff. She's just talking about food again. No, these actually might be clues. Wait, those are all of Nonville's favorite foods, I think. Those things cost a fortune. Man, talk about expensive taste. Let's look up the locations of those stores. Okay, here's Matsumotoya and Kamakuma. Godiva is here. And here's Maxi Demari's Cream Puffs. Yummy! I get it. We can use this to help figure out where the perpetrators are. Yeah, it's a basic rookie technique. But we still don't know how this all ties together. We need some more information. Mellow, mellow. Huh? Mellow, mellow. This crash diet will knock the men out. Wow, would you look at this? They're not even trying to be subtle. These guys knew exactly what they were doing from the very beginning. Written apology. I truly regret that I was unable to resist the perpetrator's threats of violence and was forced to cooperate in their crimes. These bags are heavy. I'm gonna ruin my nails! Will you hush your mouth and hurry it up? But I just got them done! I'm so impressed with your nurse's steel! What do you mean? You hardly seem to care at all that we threw your friend out into the open sea. She'll be fine. You think so? Sure, I do. Rio! Man, my feet. Hold it right there, you see through freaks. You're under arrest for trespassing and for robbery. No one sends this blonde out to sea. Holy crap, it's Stephanie! Everybody run! Look! Where did all these banana peels come from? I almost starved to death out there in that kiddie pool with no food or water. Oh, listen, Chubby, it's not like you couldn't have stood to drop a few pounds. Your useless bickering is getting us nowhere. Time, Time to, to disappear. disappear. Hey, come back! Ow! So long, sucker! <laughs> oh, not you again! I can smell a great pair of legs even with my eyes closed. Someone get it on me! <laughs> Rio! I got huh? All I gotta do is take out this stupid transmitter. No! Wait! Pinel! Huh? What? what the hell is going on? <laughs> Let's finish this once and for all! <laughs> this yeah. time you die! No! Please don't shoot! Don't hurt my precious Pinel! For God's sake, Nando, get out of the way! What the hell do you think you're doing? I can't let you do it. I can't. I can't. Nando. Oh, we have it, Nando! You're an officer.
officer of the law, Nanvo. You're supposed to catch criminals and try and prevent crimes. Aiding and abetting is not part of law enforcement. Penel is my baby! I mustn't run away! I mustn't run away! I mustn't run away! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stephanie! Come to Chimama! I'm so impressed with your nerves of steel. Penel, you have to throw on me! I know this machine is your creation. It's like your child. But Nanvo, it's time to let your baby go. Take your paws off of me! Your presents are as amazing as ever, Stephanie! Dude, I am so in hell! You're still fully functional, right? You bet you're badass I am! I can't wait to show you! <laughs> Nonsense. I'm so sorry, my love. Uh, I should have gone to Morocco sooner. Uh. And I am not fat! And that's how it all happened. I'm really sorry about everything I did. Honest. Well, I'm done with my portion of her punishment. Since Maki buried the case, we'll just have to impose our own punitive action. Right on! What are you gonna make her do, Maki? Nanville and I have already discussed that. Huh? No more diet food for me. Ta-da! Presenting Yuji's Omaki Theater, part one! Nanville, you've done a good job with my punishment for you. <laughs> it's finally complete. The Ultra Remodified Modified Optical Diet Machine! Super Duper Uber Deluxe Pink Elephant 5! I call it the clothing becomes transparent so you can see everything Pink Elephant Final! The most objective and scientific place to perform this historical experiment is... The Cafeteria! Look at all these hot babes! Well, my little pink friend, you and I are about to go down in the history books of horny men everywhere. The first subject will be my darling Rio. It's showtime! There it goes! Rio's clothes are disappearing! It's exciting! <laughs> no, wait, wait. I don't have to settle for just this. I can have more. I can have much more. Let's turn this machine up a notch. Whoa! My sweet Rio is... She's a natural blonde after all. Is it wrong to be doing this? I'm too happy to care! What are you doing, Yuji? You're acting like a total freak. Oh my God! Dude, that's a wicked nosebleed. What are you doing over there? Sorry, that's confidential. Official police duty and stuff. Oh yeah? Well, whatever it is you're doing, I'm gonna get to the bottom of it, understand? No, it's just official business, that's all! Please don't let her see the pup tent in my pants! Wait a minute! Is that Nonville's machine? This? No, it's a... Wait! Don't touch that! I don't know what kind of sick crap you're doing now, but I'm turning this thing off! Which button do you push? No! Wait! You're turning it the wrong way! What the hell is going on? Eugene! As soon as I can see you again, I'm gonna kick your ass!
operational. Countdown initiation. Liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. We are counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone from the engine center. The suit, one million yen. Shoes, a hundred thousand. Hat, fifty thousand. Scarf, fifty thousand. Plus seventy percent sales tax is over one million four hundred thousand yen. But they're hair beds. Oh, I shouldn't use this money. But what the hell? May I help you? I'll take the hair beds, scarf, and the front window. Okay. I'm paying cash. Um, oh. oh. Hey, I think you missed that 10 yen piece. Count them carefully, because I know there's enough there. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, and it feels so soft against my skin, just like a hair best scarf should. I don't have enough money to buy ramen. It's 29 days till my next payday. How will I survive? Huh? <gasps> Is it? Yeah! Pennies from heaven, baby! This mission is strictly confidential. The United Nations contacted us through the chief. Your assignment will be providing safe passage for a VIP from Japan to Switzerland. This is a covert operation. The UN will provide us with planes for both transport and escort. Yuji will be the escort pilot. Check. Maya will man the escort plane's guns. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the person accompanying the VIP on the transport plane will be Rio. Kick ass! Both Lilica and Nanva will stay here and back them up. We get left behind. That's okay. Not to worry. Old Rio's got the situation under control. By the way, would you say this VIP is incredibly disgustingly rich? Let's just say he's a very powerful military presence. People call him Henry. Some would call him Square. plane will refuel air to air over India, then arrive 13 hours later in Switzerland. The estimated arrival is around 1 a.m. tomorrow, Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> Rio's gonna be bored out of her skull up there! Not to worry, huh? I've thought of everything. <laughs> Maki knows me so well! Bentos are your best friend on a long trip! <laughs> Here, drink this! <laughs> Miss, are you all right? Huh? Can I get you anything else? Another glass of water? We have a 23mm GSH 27L double machine gun, four AAA 9 Arabic short distance AAMXs, plus two AAA 7 Arabic semi active radar homing long distance AAMs, and two AAA 7 infrared homing long distance AAMs! <laughs> I wanna shoot! 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 Calm down, Maya! Rio's on the other plane, you know! Oh, Rio's not gonna die even if I shoot it! Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Mm. <laughs> Glad you like it! Go ahead and eat this one too if you'd like! <laughs> are, are you sure about that? No, really! <gasps> hmm. He doesn't look so square to me. And he doesn't look or act like a powerful military presence at all. Uh, miss, did you need something? Oh, oh nothing. I, I was just thinking what an honor it is to be escorting a wonderful VIP like you, Mr. Henry. Um, I'm not Henry, miss. Huh? I'm just the technician. Henry's over there in the next room. Give me that! <laughs> Mooching, pasty-face geek. <gasps> oh, oh, man, you ate all the fried shrimp. I was saving that for last. It's the best part. You dork. Well, then. Would you accept my invitation to have tea in the next room? I'll even introduce you to Mr. Henry. Really? Are you serious? Oh, I'm so lucky! Hey, 
Hey, what kind of girl does Mr. Henry like, huh? What? Well, does he like the little schoolgirl type? Hell, I... Or would he rather have a more full-bodied, full-figured, mature woman? <laughs> ah, I see. Why don't you come next door and ask him yourself? We've reached point D7 on schedule. Roger that. It's about time for them to rendezvous. Rio, this is Henry. Whoa. Henry's a freaking tank? Damn it, Maki tricked me again! Here he is. He's an all-terrain AI strategic tank. We call him Henry. The UN commissioned the greatest minds in science to build this state-of-the-art cyber tank. His weapons, speed, and defense capabilities are over a hundred times more powerful than any existing tank. He has amphibious capabilities, can act as a hovercraft, and has a high-grade stealth function. Oh, it's made of stainless steel so you don't have to worry about rust, huh? Henry's not a kitchen sink. He's a highly advanced weapon of war. To maintain military balance, the UN commissioned 34 different countries to develop different parts so that no single country could build a complete tank. He was assembled, tested, and loaded with his basic strategic program in Japan. Henry has the latest artificial intelligence <laughs> programming, so he's capable of analyzing potentially hostile situations and carrying out the appropriate response. He's more powerful than 10 army divisions. How much sugar would you like? Huh? Oh, yeah, um, one and a half teaspoons, please. <laughs> Whoopsies. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. The transport plane is veering off course. It's headed in the direction of Desania. Desania is in the middle of a war, right? Yeah, this is not good. Escort plane to transport. Escort plane to transport. Please correct your course. I repeat, please correct your course. Do you read me? There's no response. That's odd. Ah! Incoming What? in the direction of the escort plane. Two seconds to impact. One, it missed. <sighs> we are not out of the woods yet. Lilica, radio UG and tell them that they're after Henry and use any necessary force against them. Nonville, contact Rio. Then, contact the nearest UN unit and request reinforcements. UG, can, can you read me? me? This, this is, is Lilica. Lilica. They were they're flying out. at a low it's altitude to avoid radar, 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 waiting to ambush us. Did they know our flight course? Rio, do you read me? This job sucks! Maybe we should just surrender and save ourselves. Earth to moron, these guys are professional. All they want is that damn tank. If we surrender, they get the tank and we die anyway. Get that dirt bag! We can't shoot the AAMs, we might hit the transport plane! No oh, crap! It's hiding behind the transport! Get a clear shot! Anna, the other one's right behind us! You won't escape me! Time to die! She got him! Way to go! We still have one more bogey to deal with. Okay, lay down some cover fire when I say go. I I'm scared. You'll be fine. Ready? Go! Game over, little missy. <laughs> Oh! <gasps> 
The Dissanian military attacked us in order to get to Henry. Please, get him out of the country as soon as possible. Yes, of course. If they capture Henry, I want you to use this. Uh, what is it? If you open the panel, you'll find two buttons inside. If you're within 20 meters of Henry and push those buttons simultaneously, he'll self-destruct. Rio, please. Take care of Henry. What? Wait a minute. You, you gotta be kidding! You can't just leave a helpless girl alone in the middle of the desert! How am I supposed to do this? I don't know what to do with a tank! Hey! Uh -huh. <clears throat> After much deliberation, I've decided that this is in fact the best solution. I have absolutely no idea how to operate you, but I can't really leave you here in the desert for the bad guys either. So, I want you to understand this is really nothing personal. Just take it like a man or like a tank or whatever. You know, fate's a bitch. Hmm. So, if you would please commence blowing yourself up now. Thanks, bye bye Huh? <laughs> gotten into that stupid tank. Recognize the voice of authority when you hear it, and don't you ever forget who's in charge. Okay, listen up, because I'm only saying it once. Out of the kindness of my heart, I have decided to escort you to the border. Don't get any ideas, because if I don't complete this mission, I don't get my reward money. Comprende? This is strictly business. If you are captured by the enemy or just become a general pain in my ass, I will not hesitate to push these buttons. You got that? You screw up, and you go boom. Okay, time to saddle up! Wagon toe! <laughs> the remains of the transport plane in the North Ramar Desert, but no sign of the tank. Not even debris. Huh? What do you mean? Why isn't it there? I don't know, sir. I want no excuses. Find it! I need an explanation. The plane was wrecked, but the tank is nowhere to be found. General, in all the time that we've worked together, have I ever given you the wrong information? But we've lost three of our best agents, and three of our most expensive fighter planes. Such is the price of war, General. Besides, my dear, it's not the end result, but the thrill of the chase that keeps men like you alive, invigorated, and virile. Trust me, it will all be worth it once you have the tank. You'll be a very happy boy. Yes, you're right. What is it? We found the black box from the plane. Some strange woman is on the video. Woman? Transmit the video to me. Hmm, who is this woman? It's that police officer again. What's going on there? Why is the tank moving on its own? I don't know, General. But it's following the girl around like a lovesick teenager. Holy crap, this desert's huge! They could have at least put a convenience store out here or something. Okay, let's see. What's the quickest way to cross the Tissanian Desert and make it safely to the Republic of Serasia? We go north, northwest... Ah! 150 kilometers?! Uh, I guess we have no choice. Hey! 
Hey, that's hot! Don't be so close to me! There, that's better. Ugh, I am so sweaty. My expensive Airbez scarf is soaking wet. Rio, you big moron, you should have left this at home. there. Send in the nearest tank division immediately. Yes, sir. You are quick and decisive, General. Just leave it to me. Once we know its location, it's ours. You are so very reliable. Uh, I'm tired. I don't want to walk anymore. What are we going to do, Henry? I can't believe you ruined my scarf. That thing is worth a whole month's worth of ramen. Do you have any idea how good I looked in that scarf? I mean, I know you're just a machine, but... Hey, wait, what's that noise? <gasps> what the hell are those things? Range 5,000 meters. Good. All tanks are to fire a warning shot 50 meters in front of the target. Let's test its reaction. Roger. Fire! All tanks commence firing. All tanks commence firing. Be careful not to damage that tank. Thunder has moved to DEFCON 22. All access has been denied. Setting self-destruct mode. Thunder will not correct its orbit. Self-destruct denied. Thunder has cut off access from the outside world. No reaction from the target. Then fire the warning shots again. Why are you wussing out like this? Counter-attack, you big hunk of junk! I've got hair dryers that are smarter than you! Come on! Move it! Sir, the target is not responding or counter-attacking. It's not even moving. What does that mean? I don't know, sir. Try firing a little closer, General. What? But that might damage the tank. Just trust me, General. Try it. I've got a feeling about this. Hello? Wake up! Anyone home? Are you just gonna sit there? Prepare to fire your volleys close to the target. Do not hit the target directly. We must capture it without damage. Fire! I refuse to die in vain in this oversized cat box! You wanna die in vain? Do it by yourself! What the? Huh? Destroyed? One tank destroyed them all? That's exactly why you need to own it, General. Once you have that little marvel in your hands, you won't care much about that division. But how will we capture such a monster? I have a little plan we can try. Wow! You obliterated the enemy in nothing flat! You rock! No wonder everyone wants to get their paws on you. But... <sighs> Why the hell did you do that sooner, you big stupid hunk of junk? You were sitting there banking in the sun while I was getting my butt blown up! You big can opener! Uh, Rio is alive? Oh, thank God my Rio is alive! <laughs> is she really alive? We were able to hack into the Desanian satellite <laughs> with help from Lilica and Nonvol. Rio is alive and she's headed towards the Desanian Saragia border with the tank, but she's not out of danger yet. 
They still have 100 kilometers of desert in front of them. We have to help them get across the border. Shut up! I'm trying to sleep. Your assignment will be providing safe passage for a VIP from Japan to Switzerland. Henry's a freaking tank? Is that what Maki meant when she said he was square? Dusani is in the middle of a war, right? Escort plane to transport. Escort plane to transport. Please <laughs> Game over, little missy. What do you mean? Why isn't it there? I don't know, sir. It will all be worth it once you have the tank. We have confirmed a heat flare in the Ramur Desert at point Northwest 010 near the White Trap. Send in the nearest tank division immediately. <laughs> hmm. It's certainly a lethal weapon. Can you capture it? Yes. Leave it to me. Good. Keep me posted on your progress. I succeeded in hacking into the Desanian satellite. We've located Rio and Henry inside the Desanian border. Are they okay? Yes, they are. The Desanian army tried to capture them, but Henry counteracted and they failed. They failed? The Desanian army fired warning shots, then Henry fired back, destroying the entire army. But I thought Henry hadn't been programmed to attack. That's what I thought, too. Lilica, display Henry and Rio's current location. Working on it. They're very close to the border. This new processor really rocks my world. Desania, the, the flashpoint of all the world's disputes. If they capture Henry, I have no doubt they'll misuse his power. And Rio will definitely be disposed of. Find Maya and Yuji at the UN Border Control Force base. Roger! You know full well that the UN cannot take military action without being attacked first. Let me put it this way. While you sit here on your butt, they'll capture the tank, cross the border, and BOOM! Wipe out your entire base in seconds. I, I can't. How about this? We use our own plane, you just give us a permit. I can't do it. I'd stop bluffing if I were you. She hasn't been able to shoot anything, and she's quite tense. Don't come back! What do you mean we can't track the tank anymore? Well, General, an unidentified satellite has attacked and destroyed our atmospheric surveillance... Damn it! Uh, what the hell is going on here? General... Yes? What is it, Miss Ruby? I want you to send three attack helicopters towards the closest oasis, near the point ah. of the last confirmed tank sighting. But why? Because the tank doesn't need water, but that silly girl does. Am I right? Right. Anything you say. Distance to target is 500 meters. We're ready to fire. Ah. Um, are you sure we only need three? Just trust me. We've changed targets. Fire warning shots at the woman. Yes, sir. Ah, it destroyed them. Now we lose the tank's location again. It's okay, darling. If there's one thing I understand, it's human instincts. Have your men search for them in the area between the oasis and the border. Mm. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm glad I took a break. Hey, Green Giant. Yeah, you, you big hunk of junk. Why didn't you blow those guys up sooner? Hello? Are you listening to me? I am black and blue all over because you didn't do something sooner, you big stupid tin can! <sighs> Look, 
I know you can't talk because you're just a stupid machine, but you can at least react! Oh, crap, my comm unit's broken. Now we're lost, too. I have no idea what we're gonna do. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just follow our instincts, then. Ah, uh, who the hell am I kidding? Hey! Where, where are you going? What, what are you doing? What is going on? I don't get it. Are you... Are you trying to tell me that you know which direction the border's in? Where are you going? Wait! I said wait! Stupid piece of junk! Hey! Hold it! You can't just walk away leaving a beautiful girl stranded in the desert. We really don't like that sort of thing, you know. Besides, I don't like walking behind smelly pieces of machinery. Don't you even feel a little bit guilty about making a poor stranded girl carry this can? There, chivalry isn't dead after all. All right, let's blow this joint. Oh, it's so hot. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm such a doofus, I can't believe I took this miserable job for only 1,500,000 yen. Oh, God. Oh. Well, if I don't get my reward, I'm blaming you, you big can opener. Oh, you have a great name, too. It's too bad you don't do anything useful. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I had a Matsumoto a special assorted bento box. Oh, Henry! Darling, <laughs> could you be a dear and go and get me some Matsumotias? <laughs> Don't forget the Bediva chocolates. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to set the timer on my VCR. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna miss another episode of Three Legged Race of Love. Thanks, Henry. I've missed two shows in a row. I'm never gonna be able to follow the story now. Can't you pick up the show on your fancy equipment? I didn't think so. Oh well. I'm sure Kasumi will just go out with some other guy and she'll have some other problem to deal with. But I love that show. I hate that I'm missing it. Man, I've been in some tight spots before, but this one's seriously gonna give me some gray hairs. I mean, I don't want to get old before my time like Maya, but I don't want to do that baby doll thing that Novel does either. <sighs> Man, I forgot to put on any sunscreen. I'm gonna have patches all over my face. I'm gonna have to use one of those cucumber packs. I hate cucumbers. It's a stupid vegetable. This whole thing's a big pain in my ass. Oh, this is awful. I need water. Huh? Ah, not this much water! Better late than never, huh? I know I said I needed water, but this is ridiculous. Oh well, no harm, no foul. I wish you were a little more comfortable. This steel makes my butt hurt. Huh. Well, hello. Looks like you are a gentleman after all. Man, if only you were rich, it'd be a match made in heaven. All right, Henry, let's rock! <laughs>
Hello? Anybody home? Yoo-hoo! Hello? Come out, come out wherever you are! <gasps> it's food! I haven't eaten in two days! Oh, yeah, dig it, baby! What the hell is Henry doing? What's wrong with that stupid tank now? Are you sure the tank is okay? How do we know it won't fire those guns at us and kill us all? My sweet Rose. Don't worry. Uh, it won't happen. But, Snooky! Long time no see, old friend. You're that chick that was stalking Anna. I'm flattered you remember me. I suppose you probably have to kill me. There's no rush. You're an important hostage. Hostage? I'll kill you once you've outlived your usefulness. Sick him, you big stupid tin can! This is not a time to sit there resting on your butt or whatever it is you have. Do something! It's no use. The tank won't attack us. Why not? You still don't understand, do you? The tank has been programmed to protect your pathetic little life. What are you talking about? Huh. I guess you didn't realize it then. Because the tank protects you, we'll use you to control the tank. The analysis of this tank's interface is complete. Disconnect the first system. The second, third, and starting systems have all been disconnected. <gasps> this doesn't look good. Henry will be completely reprogrammed soon. If the Desanians can harness even a fraction of the destructive force he showed in yesterday's battle, the future of the UN, of the whole world, will be... If you're within 20 meters of Henry and push those buttons simultaneously, he'll self-destruct. Hmm. Only one guard. But I need to suit up first. Yoo-hoo! Handsome guard now! Want to come play with a beautiful girl in her underwear? <laughs> hey, dumbass, I'm talking to you! Over here, moron! Huh? Why is it not working? I'm not sure, sir. This tank does not have a brain. It has no strategic programs and no onboard computers at all. It can't be! Then explain to us how the tank moves. We don't know yet, but we have found something that might yield an answer. What is it? It's a memory chip filled with battle tactics. If we can hack into it, we might be able to solve this mystery. Then let's get started, shall we? Right away. An AI strategic tank that doesn't have a neural system. What does it mean? Oh, yeah. Like this. Oh, right there. I, I, I've never uh -huh. done this before. Now wiggle it a little. No, okay. no, Ooh, it, oh. Gently now. Uh, yes. That's uh, it. Yes. Oh, oh. What? It's, oh. it's Neo Tokyo Tower, top floor, Dorkville. Thanks a lot, sucker. If they capture Henry, I want you to use this. Yes. Yes. Rio, please take care of Henry. This is my only chance. You still don't understand, do you? The tank has been programmed to protect your pathetic little life. Game over, little miss.
make you self-destruct. Take care of them. Anyone home? Are you just gonna sit there? You self-destruct. Take care of them. I refuse to die in vain in this stupid, oversized cat box. You self-destruct. Are you just gonna sit there? You self-destruct. Take care of them. You self-destruct. You self-destruct. You self-destruct. I refuse to die in vain in this You self-destruct. You self-destruct. Please take care of Henry. Oh, you did for someone. It's just a stupid machine. Why can't I push that button? You've served your purpose. You're useless to us now. Eat sand, you American poor. You're a real pain in the ass. Now it's time to finish it. You better make peace with your god. <laughs> Has failed. I'll be taking the tank's uh, memory chip. So, there you are, my love. Thank you very much, General, for your cooperation. Cooperation? You've done well. Your job is over. Bye, General. Hold on, Rio. Over that dune, you're home free. We'll meet you at the border. Hang in there. Thank you, Henry. You're a mess. Look at you. You took all this damage on just to protect me. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> Let's cross the border together. Come on, big guy. Just over those dunes, there's a squad of mechanics who can't wait to give you a tune-up. I did it! I got 1,500,000 yen! Victory! <laughs> Victory!
First, I'm gonna go buy a new hair best scarf. And that is so Rio. She's already blown all of her reward money. Ah, that's why she gave her scarf to the tank. She knew she'd be able to buy a new one. <laughs> Figures. But I still don't understand why the tank protected Rio. Apparently, Rio was screwing around with the tank in the airplane and accidentally triggered his VIP guard system. I see. But if his system was shut down, how was he able to reactivate and protect her? Because they kept his neural center up in space. Up, up in space? space? That's right. They kept his neural center in an orbiting satellite. It was launched from the UN Space Center at the same time that our transport plane took off. Wow. That means Rio was protected on both the ground and the sky. What a lucky girl. Maki Theater number two! Good evening. Today's report is... Oh, um... <clears throat> Today's report takes place at Rio Kinezono's very modest apartment. She recently used up all the reward money without sharing it with her co-workers. An extremely shameful action for a human being. That's why... Today, we'll be peeping into her sordid life as a selfish girl. Yeah, you heard me, Miss Rio. You've got so much gosh darn money, it wouldn't hurt you to treat us sometime. So now, we'll be learning what sort of high-class life she leads. Oh, what a lucky coincidence. We happened to find a rope ladder just hanging by itself right here. We can use this to climb up to the third floor and onto her veranda. Let's take a closer look. Oh, she's sleeping right now! <clears throat> I feel very privileged to be able to show Rio in this natural state to you, my loyal audience and adoring fans in TV land. <sighs> oh, this is so... <laughs> my adorable Rio in her bed! This is wonderful! It's... <laughs> it's exciting! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. It seems that young ladies these days have very little shade. This reporter cannot believe his eyes. <laughs> oh my god, this is so... <laughs> <laughs> my Rio in her bed. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, looky there! The window isn't locked! Yes, I know it's the third floor, but it's still dangerous to leave your doors unlocked. Doesn't she worry that some creep may sneak into her room and do something unspeakable? I'm simply a reporter, but I cannot help but worry about her. In fact, I'm so worried that I won't be able to sleep at night with her here all alone! So, the moral is that if you do something bad, you pay for it in the end. All units report to the Paradise Kindergarten in the Neo Oda District. A group of suspects robbed the local bank and have since barricaded themselves inside the school. The teachers and students are being held hostage, and the suspects are considered armed and dangerous. You Remain. are surrounded! Please release the hostages, and we can try to solve this peacefully! Shut up! <laughs> what would your mother say if she could see you now? <sighs> Looks like we're gonna be here for a while. Huh? What is that? Allow me to introduce the Officer of Tomorrow. Officer? Initiating startup. Releasing safety restraints! A robot? No, a mecha cop. Mecha cop? Meet the latest in top secret law enforcement technology. We received permission from the higher ups to use today's little incident to test mecha cop's abilities. Yeah, we got word from the very top. 
Well, shall we, gentlemen? Lock and load, boys. <laughs> of all the buildings in town to hold up in, why'd you have to pick this one? You could have at least found us a bar or something. Ow, quit it! Ow! Oh. <laughs> this place ain't so What the hell? Sorry! Man, I just bought these pants. Well, that didn't suck. I guess you could even call it a success. These scumbags didn't really pose much of a challenge, though, did they? Look at their faces, the poor obsolete old saps. <laughs> They'll be out of a job before their next donut break. What the...? What is going on? Please state your name, address, and date of birth. Yeah. Your cooperation is very important. You're letting that walking toaster interrogate the suspects? Watch and learn. Mechacop is programmed to efficiently handle any situation one of your regular officers would face. Well, your walking tape recorder may know all the proper police protocol, but real human emotions don't always follow the rules and regulations. Uh. Hmm. You have a younger sister who is starting high school this spring, don't you? Huh? How do you think she would feel if she saw you like this? Come back, Big Brother! I'm going to Neo Tokyo to make my fortune. I'll be back as soon as I can. I promise! No, no, no! Your poor mother must be crying her eyes out. Do you really want to cause them any more pain? Oh, dear God, I'm so ashamed. <laughs> we entered all of the suspect's data, including rap sheet and family history, into the Mecha Cops' memory files. While regular cops just scream at suspects, Mecha Cops actually get results. Who'd have thought? Crap! So the Mecha Cops were rotated into active duty. They respected the elderly, they settled quarrels. One even saved a kitten from a burning building. Give me a break. Two more written apologies and I'm done with this stack! Just... Huh? I have finished my data input. May I be of some assistance to you? What could you possibly do to help me? Wow! You are so awesome! Can I get you a cup of hot oil or something? Please, stop your vehicle! <laughs> well, whatever you say, officer, yeah, I'll pull right over. Your vehicle is huh? exceeding the speed limit by 51.4 miles per hour. <laughs> Are you injured, sir? Have you sustained bodily damage? Shall I call an ambulance? Tonight's top story, the Mega Cup. Once again, this mechanical wonder has come to the rescue, solving over 10,000 cases so far. But it seems the machine also has a softer side. Children adore these hulking gentle giants, and the magazines are starting to jump on the mecha fan bandwagon. Mecha cops are also finding friends in the toy industry, where there has been a run on the mecha cop figures, board games, and nightlights. He's protecting our streets as well as our flagging economy. Mecha cop truly is the savior of our time. Mecha Cop is working out even better than we anticipated. If things continue this way, it will only be a matter of time before we can add him to the force permanently. Excellent. Keep me posted. Yes, sir, I will. Mecha Cop is a completely independent humanoid robot. The only maintenance he requires is occasional systems backup. Let's face it. Mecha cops are superior to humans in every aspect. Soon flesh and blood officers will become completely obsolete. Soon flesh and blood officers will become completely obsolete. Kiss my ass, geek boy. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm, fishy. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? 
Something fishy's going on here. Okay, I've done some digging. Look, this is the Mecha Cop, and this is the U.S. Army's latest prototype for the humanoid combat machine. Wow, that thing is ginormous! It's close to 20 feet tall, but that's as small as they could get it and still have room to contain all the necessary components to generate artificial intelligence. But the Mecha Cop is only... That's right. Its chassis is only one-third of the prototype's size. So did they make some specially compact CPU for the Mecha Cop? I guess so. Well, why don't you ask them and find out? I tried, but they said it was confidential. This smells fishy. It certainly does. Huh? But I think we need to do a little more sniffing. Well, hello huh? there. You're... that cop. You're really burning the midnight oil, aren't you? Where's everybody else? Uh, yeah, they went home. I'm just finishing some stuff up. You work stuff me do here. Is that so, you big uh... hunk? Wow, what's that great big machine with all the pretty little buttons? Well, um, mm -hmm. it's a mechanical device called a computer, and inside there's a large web of circuitry which um, is connected by magnetic impulses which in turn network to supply electricity to the surrounding area. Uh, it's an intricately connected matrix of wires and microchips, very complex and difficult for the layman to understand. The original ones filled entire rooms and slowly calculated things with cards that you fed in. Well, what does your machine do then? <laughs> Don't even think about it. What's that black thing? Is that some kind of specially integrated circuit? I've never seen one, but my guess would be is it's a black diamond. Did you say diamond? This diamond is comprised of superconducting clusters. It's created by hypercompressing diamonds with high purity content. This compression modifies and thus intensifies the diamond's clusters. These enhanced diamond clusters enable the surrounding metal to act as a CPU on the smallest molecular level. Well then, that explains everything. You really understood that? No, I didn't. But you need at least a thousand diamonds to make one of these. One thousand high purity diamonds? Man, what a waste! Exactly. That's why the black diamond is almost impossible to manufacture. Only specialized facilities could create such complex materials. A thousand big, bright, beautiful diamonds. Dear God, it's a black diamond. It happened years ago. It was Masato's last case. Someone had manufactured them illegally in Hong Kong and smuggled hundreds of them into Japan under the protection of a key politician. Black diamonds. Masato, please be careful. This case seems very dangerous. I think this one might be a little out of your league. I don't know. I just get a bad feeling about this one. Please be careful. Undercover investigation in Hong Kong? Well, I'll just go with you. We could be a couple on their honeymoon. It's a pretty convincing cover, don't you think? <laughs> no, Masato! The higher-ups decided that the explosion was an accident. They denied any possible connection between the explosion and the smuggling investigation. The whole incident was buried, along with Masato. All the Mega Cubs are functioning flawlessly. Yes, we received all the data. And now we proceed with phase two. Pigs! I want to see my bitch ex-wife and I want to see her now!
one-on-one and you don't come any closer. Please drop your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. <laughs> All right, Toaster Boy, you asked for it. Drop your weapon. You have 15 seconds to comply. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. Uh, give up, you win. Drop your weapon. You have 10 seconds to comply. <laughs> Drop your weapon. You have five seconds to fly. Let him go! Ramadan's <sighs> time put him down! You are interfering with official police business. You will be eliminated. What the hell have you done to him? It assaulted a suspect who had already dropped his gun and surrendered. Excuse you, Blondie. The Mecha Cop's programming is impeccable. The suspect must have tried to resist arrest or something. You didn't have to destroy him like this. Your action interfered with official business and caused major damage to police equipment. I'll be making a full report to your supervisor as soon as we get back to the station. I'm gonna have your- Damn it! How come I get stuck writing an apology? That piece of junk screwed up, not me! That's not the first time either. There have been eight other malfunctions in the past few days. The upper brass is trying to keep a lid on it. Are you serious? They don't want the public to know their precious mecha cops have a screw loose. If there's something wrong with their basic programming, it's only a matter of time until those things cause some real damage. We have to act at once. We certainly do! <gasps> What's going on over there? Here's your order, miss. Honey, how long are you going to stand out there gaping like an idiot? But those guys at Police Town are some of our best customers. Yeah, right. They only come on discount ramen day anyway. But they're the only ones that will eat the day-old noodles. What about the other two? Stad boy here is fine. He just fainted. Looks like he'll live. Good. Let's get them to a hospital. No, wait. Huh? There's another mecha cop unit out on day patrol right now. What? Loose in the city. That one must be out of control, too. Yes, sir. Right away. Showtime, warrior. <laughs> Dramatic face, man. Nah, nah. I've got wristwatches that are scarier than you. Why don't you haul your big metal carcasses over here and kiss my pink flesh and blood ass? Hey! Ah! Oh, they're coming! Ah! They're coming! Kick ass! Osamu here is gonna show these talking tin cans just what we're made of. Dude, huh? strong! Let me have Kyoshi! Here! Time for a lead enema, you metal freak! You are under arrest for exposing yourself in public! Nudity is not allowed! Ah! Oh! 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 That's my secret place! <laughs> nice set of knackers you got there, girly! <laughs> Take it easy, Rio. You're getting a little too into this. Well, it has to be convincing, otherwise that pile of crap might suspect something. Yeah, you like that, don't you? You are committing sexual assault. You are under arrest. Bingo, we got him. Come on, Lilica. We're on. I will arrest you for evading arrest. Now it's time to get nasty. 
Nothing ever gets past old Masada. This sucks. <gasps> Something major must be going on. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. Hey, Rio, bring him over here. Rio, slow down. You are under arrest. Hang on, but it's your turn. Arrest. NECA cops check in, but they don't check out! Are you sure that thing's gonna hold him? I used my super secret special metal on the walls and on the roof. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Are, are we having an earthquake? Uh-oh. What kind of metal did you use for the floor, Nonvel? Oops, I forgot about the floor! Under arrest. You are under arrest. Were you guys looking for me? I want you to meet you soon. Yellow hat and black shorts. This is our chance, kids. Do not tell me how to do my job. It sickens me. The official release of the Mecha Cop has been postponed because of this whole mess. And we earned some pretty sweet bonuses. I wonder why the machine just started bugging out like that. I don't know. All three mecha cops were too badly damaged to be able to determine the exact cause. Due to the extreme amount of physical damage, it is difficult to determine what caused the system malfunctions in the CPUs. There are several possibilities, including a computer virus or external hackers. We can neither confirm nor deny either of these scenarios at this point. However... However Further investigation has revealed evidence that suggests there were incidents of irregular programming within the core of the MechaCop Central Processing Unit. If this error proves to be related to the subsequent malfunction, this will warrant an investigation into the manufacturing stage of the MechaCops, sabotaged from the very beginning. Yuji's Amaki Theater, part three! Well, the poopin' stuff has really hit the fan now. The mass-produced mecha cops have gone completely berserk and are attacking the city. Neo Tokyo has fallen victim to this vicious assault and has been practically destroyed. Even the elite warrior team has been forced to withdraw from the battleground. But then, 
I, Yuji Naruo, in cooperation with the Nanvo Candlestick and Earwax Research Center, have developed the strongest and most powerful secret weapon ever known to man. I am inviting the members of the television audience to behold... The Paragon of Technological Design! It's amazing! Look how cool! Coolest thing I ever saw! This fantastic machine was actually modeled after the famous Dr. Rory Rory Super Duper Triple Type Electric Dogeyzer 5. It's showtime! All systems functional. Let's go! Dogeyzer! Dogeyzer 5 team reporting for duty! Yeah! You boys look fantastic! All right, I want that half to cover my patrol duties for me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This half, I want to do all my paperwork and kiss my boss's ass. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You Genizer team! Go! I'll go check out the women's locker room. Go, oh, the sexy mama's a police town. Let me see. Give me a look. Hey, hey you guys! I can't see that. Oh, you guys! Oh, you oh my God! Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. so I could try again. This is so cool! It's so big! Totally! Ginormous! And now, I'll take you on a tour of the factory. Oh, my God! Huh? Look at it go! Oh, look at it go! Oh, my God, that is so cute! Thanks! If you want, I can do one for you! Yeah! Those machines are... What does this button do? Hey! Get down from there! This is not a playground! Don't but when I push down. it, it makes pretty colors! Oh, dear God, no! Nothing so far. See if you can get farther inside the factory. I look just as cute as they do. Cuter, even. Yuji, are you still sulking? Go change your clothes and get back to work. Okay. Huh? Yes? What the hell were you thinking? Why did you deploy Warrior without my permission? Because there are still too many unanswered uh, questions about the Mechacop incident. If I thought the situation warranted an investigation, I would have ordered one. I won't pay for this little expedition. I intend to pay for this investigation out of my own pocket. Call them back here right away. I'll report back to you as soon as we find something. What the Masato. The mystery of the Black Diamond was just beyond your reach. I'll solve it for you, my love. So, the outer shell is installed here, Whoa. and next they go to the coding room. Is this the same kind of robot as those nasty mecha cops? Oh, goodness, no. These are industrial grade robots. We stopped making the mecha cops. I thought humanoid robots had to be much bigger to hold all that stuff it needs for, you know, that CPU thingy. What kind of CPU do you use? <laughs> oh, uh, just a regular old CPU. So, how come the mecha cop had a black. <laughs> Ixnay on the Iman Day. We're not supposed to know about that. 
Ahem. Uh, let's continue our tour. What's going on in here? Hey, you! Get away from there! Oh. Get back! That's where we store the brain parts. No kids allowed! Wow! I want to see! Well, you can't. Only specially authorized personnel are allowed beyond this point. Huh? Don't be such a party pooper. Just a teensy peek? I said no! Have you found out what caused the mecha cop malfunction? Yes, sir. Though we are still investigating other causes, we did find a defect in the basic brain core. We believe that was the cause. If the initial startup tests had been successful, police forces and VIPs all over the world would have been clamoring for them. This cost us dearly. Uh, yes, sir. Well, we are still working out the bugs. I um, have some bad news. Mm. One of my subordinates has been sniffing around the Mecha Cop factory. Team Warrior. Yes, that's the one. I'm not at all surprised. Miss Maki has always been a little too intent on the whole Black Diamond issue. I don't believe it. That explosion was no accident. We were this close to blowing the lid off the Black Diamond smuggling ring. They set off that explosion and they killed Masato. That case was closed. You should try to forget it. I can't and I won't. I'll continue this investigation with or without your help. That's too bad. I'll give someone else this special assignment. Special assignment? We have decided to form an undercover task force answerable only to me. They will deal with crimes and situations outside normal police capabilities. You would be in charge and would handpick your own team. My own team? But why me? You can continue to investigate this black diamond nonsense. Or head up your own anti-terrorist unit. I think we both know which is more important. I want you to establish an elite team of officers, codename Warrior. Warrior? We threw her that bone to get her off the trail of the Black Diamond smuggling, but it backfired. I never thought she'd put together such an outstanding team. She's an excellent officer. Perhaps. But Miss Kawasaki never did learn when to mind her own business. There's definitely more to that factory than meets the eye. I agree. Hey, Maki, who owns that factory anyway? The <gasps> former Prime Minister, Shiguru Tonoyama. Looks like we're playing with the big boys now. Sir, I understand they've been causing a lot of trouble, but I don't think the Force can afford to lose the Warrior team right now. You mean you can't afford to lose Warrior? The only reason you've been kept on as Chief is because of their success. That isn't true. Whatever the case, I think you better keep an eye on them. Think of them like those carp over there. Oh. They may rule the pond, but they die when they're out of water. Stay for lunch. We're having carp sashimi. designer Marion Bardo has just arrived here at Neo Narita Airport. Bardo, who is scheduled to premiere her new line tomorrow at the Neo Tokyo Towers Fashion Show, look calm, happy, and well rested. Along with Bardo, man, I wish I could afford her stuff. And cross See that blue dress there? It costs about the same as 5,000 bowls of this ramen. Are you serious? It looks like my mother in law's drapes. Yeah, yeah. That's why I don't discuss such divine clothing with mere mortals. A thousand apologies, my dear lady. <sighs> Maybe someday I'll get to do security for some important fashion show. Maybe they'll even give me a dress or two. Or maybe they'll see me and turn me into the next big world-famous supermodel! <gasps> From rags to bitches, literally! <laughs> 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 Tomorrow's show will go down in the annals of history. Miss Bardo's talents are simply explosive. Greetings, Japan. I've planned an exceptional show for you. You don't want to miss it. Damn it. Another dead end. There must be some connection to the smuggling ring. Petrash, what's the matter? <gasps> that 
that scar looks like. Oh, shoot, guys, you. <laughs> Headquarters, you've got to let us open fire. Are you all right, miss? And that's how we met. We were almost inseparable from that moment on. <laughs> I, Maki Kawasaki, have officially graduated from Police Academy. Congratulations. Welcome to the Force, Officer Kawasaki. Thank you for all of your help, Masato. I... Huh? What? Oh, hey, you're making me look bad. This is for you, officer. Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. He's so adorable. So what are you going to call him? Huh? Hmm. Patrash. Yeah, I'll call him Patrash. Patrash, huh? <laughs> He'll grow into it. You're a lucky pup, Patrash. Masato. Tomorrow's show will go down in the annals of history. Don't be an idiot. You know Masato is dead. Uh, Miss Bardo, your sudden rise to fame has, well, set the fashion world on its ear. Rumor has it that all the top name promoters have offered to produce your show. So why did you choose this particular gentleman? Because we happen to be involved not just professionally, but also on a personal level. I need to rest for a while. Go do the deal without me. Right. And Ruby, you're not a bad kisser. All in a day's work. This is incredible. My Hong Kong syndicate has to smuggle black diamonds in once a month and one at a time. And you've managed to bring in an entire case. What kind of organization... That's you... not important. Did you bring them money? <laughs> not to worry. Excellent. Holding a fashion show to cover up our dealings was very clever. Think of it as a celebration in honor of our deal. Neo Tokyo, a beautiful, sophisticated city whose inhabitants have grown weak and complacent. Soon they will all answer to me. <laughs> I feel like a rat in a maze. I know what you mean. I definitely gotta work my way into the fashion show circuit. What do you mean? But uh, never mind. <gasps> Is that a it's a black diamond? No doubt about it. So they are smuggling them in. Now the real question is, what are they used for? Come on. are mecha cops. I don't think they're for law enforcement. That crusty old guard said they stopped making them. <gasps> Shiguru Toriyama! Maki was right! That bitch! What the hell is she doing here? These are the units with the Black Diamond CPUs. They're quite impressive looking, aren't they? <laughs> I'm glad you're happy with the product. But haven't you run into a few problems recently? Wasn't the Mecha Cops assignment postponed indefinitely? Don't worry. If the government won't pay for them, there are terrorists who will. What a horrible man! Can you actually believe our own former Prime Minister is selling arms to terrorists? I know! 
With all the dough he's rolling in, you think he could give us civil servants a raise? Wow, Rio, you really are a true blonde. Huh? I have proof that Shigeru Tonoyama is involved in smuggling black diamonds to illicitly manufacture fighting humanoid machines. He is connected to this woman, who is responsible for several terrorist acts in the Neo-Tokyo area. She answers to someone called Harry. So, when do I move on this? This is a very delicate matter, Maki. If you are mistaken about this, police town will be destroyed. You're joking. I think you better let me handle this one. Go back to your office, and I'll contact you if anything develops. I see. If Police Town won't do anything, then I'll just have to take matters into my own hands. Don't be an idiot, Kawasaki. Think about what you're doing. This will ruin your career. I don't give a damn about my career. All I care about is that justice is served. Last time, I was all alone with no help. This time, I have Team Warrior. <sighs> All right, everyone, listen up. This mission is directly against official orders. The only pay you'll get is what little I have in my own pocket. If you don't want to accept, I understand. Leave now. think we're gonna let you have all the fun, do you? Rio. Don't sound so serious, Maki. I finally get to shoot as much as I want. When it's over, can I have one of those pretty little black diamonds to play with? Wherever Rio goes, I go. Oh, no you don't. You just screw everything up and get in the way. Oh, uh, come on. I won't screw up this time, I promise. I thank you, my friends. Masato, I will finally avenge your death. <gasps> it can't be. Masato. Bingo, the mother load. Let's move out. I'm one step ahead of you. Alive. Masato is alive. They haven't come back out yet. Screw it. Let's just go in blasting. Not yet. We gotta wait till they make the deal with the terrorists. Then we can blow their freaking balls off. Hey, they're all leaving. What the hell's going on here? I guess maybe they got their dates mixed up. So, anyone up for a look around? Go to the observatory once the show starts. Damn it, nothing here but metal. Oh, crap. We waited too long. Come on in, Yuji. Let's take one of these hunks of crap back to police town as evidence. Rio, behind you! How did they get activated? Not that one. Use the elevator. 
in the back to the left. The one marked maintenance. I'm waiting for you. See you've cut your hair. It looks good short. Masato, is it really you? You're alive. Why didn't you tell me? I'll explain it all to you later. The big show is starting. And the stage is Neo Tokyo. You amaze me, Maki. I never thought you'd have the strength to pick up where I left off and create Warrior, even if it is still unofficial. I underestimated you. Squad. It's about time. Maki must have called in for backup. Hey, take it easy with that cover fire. We're on your side, remember? Ow! That hurts it more! What the hell is going on here? Well, it looks like we're in time for Act One. Even as we speak, your precious warrior is being torn to ribbons by the Armored Riot Squad. How do you know that? And why? Tony Yama feels they're getting a little too close for comfort. So he's going to brand them as traitors and get rid of them all. Just like he tried to do to me. History will be made tonight. This little exhibition is only the beginning. Come and see with your own eyes, Maki. It's showtime. Eliminate them all. There are five extremely dangerous terrorists hiding in this warehouse. There are to be no survivors, do you understand? The safety of all of Neo Tokyo depends on it. We are officers of the law. It is not supposed to be like this! Maki Theater Part 4! I'm reporting to you live from the premier women's locker room in Police Town. Four members of Team Warrior, namely Rio, Maya, Lilica, and Nanville, are about to go on an undercover mission as four high school girls. Even though they are on the active duty roster, they are shamefully ignoring their posts to take part in this little cosplay. That is why I, Yuji Naruo, have snuck into the women's locker room. I am going to risk my position as a senior officer and attempt to keep them from making utter fools of themselves. I ask the television audience to bear witness to my valiant efforts. I have created the perfect disguise! Look, I'm a little innocent schoolgirl! <laughs> For reference purposes, I use the immaculate image of Shiori Fukizaki from Toka Meki Memorial. As you can tell, I'm a very big fan. Excuse me for expressing my preference. Uh, mm. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. Why did Maki have to give us such a dumb assignment? I can't believe we actually have to dress up like high school students. I'm in sailor suits. I don't want to do this. I swear she gives us the weirdest assignments sometimes. You said it, sister. These clothes suck ass. I don't want to do this. 
Look at these big baggy socks. They are so five minutes ago. You're, You're preaching, preaching to the, the choir. choir. I don't want to do this. I don't want to. Oh, I can't sing like they do. <laughs> oh, man, my boobs have gotten even bigger. I'm uh, able to fit crap. into my favorite That splash bronzer. on the lens is covering up all the good stuff. Oh, I wish I had big breasts like everybody else. What are you talking about? You got the cutest pink little nipples I've ever seen. Oh, and soft, too. Hey, that tickles. For the love of God, will someone clean the lens? <laughs> I wanted you to wear one, too. Yeah, and I wanted to wear bloomers. Hey, not to worry. You borrow anything you want from my own personal uniform collection. You see, you pedophile freak! Ouch, ouch, ouch. Remember, these cosplayers are seasoned professionals. Please don't try this at home. Extended exposure to small uniforms may cause internal swelling, nasal hemorrhaging, and loss of vision. If you experience any of these symptoms, please consult your chiropractor. Stonbull? Yeah. Well, kids, I'm out of ammo. Even if you had more rounds, what difference would it make? They're a police squad, the same as us! What should we do? Let ourselves be killed or attack our fellow officers? I'm not real fond of our options. So now what do we do, huh? Tell me what to do, Maki! I feel sorry for you. Your beloved police town keeps betraying you and taking away the things you love. First they took me, now they've taken away your team warrior. <laughs> Masato, if you knew about this, then why didn't you- Enough of the pre-show. It's time for the main event. Now let's watch it together, Maki. Come. I want to thank you all very much for attending our little pageant today. Now we'd like to show you the real reason we've asked you here. The real reason? Presenting the main event. Development number NCC-71807, Humanoid Strategic Fighting Machine Type W, Jimic South Weapon Series. <laughs> and now, it's showtime. Those can't be machines. It's impossible. Their movements are too refined. I channeled all of my rage and hatred into my work. They are the ultimate killing machines. What? You're behind all this? Quite an impressive debut, isn't it? Bloodthirsty terrorists and warmonger generals everywhere are drooling with anticipation. 
<laughs> you are not my Masato. I don't know who you are. You're right. I'm not Masato anymore. Masato was killed in that explosion. Miraculously, I was found by a fishing boat. But I had a nasty surprise waiting for me when I returned home. Listen up. I want you to destroy anything pertaining to black diamonds. Tony Yama has the entire police force in his pocket. He had ordered them to set off the explosion at the hotel. That's when I realized individual justice meant nothing in the world of political power. That day I shed my former life and moved into the world of darkness. Being officially dead proved to be remarkably convenient. With my knowledge of both the law-abiding and criminal worlds, I was able to establish myself almost immediately. I was quickly promoted in the ranks of the underworld, and soon expanded my own organization in Neo Hong Kong. I ran a full-fledged syndicate of organized crime from behind the scenes. I dabbled in robbery, smuggling, assassination, and weapons dealing. I collected capital and raw materials to make black diamonds. Then I installed my control program into the logic core of Neo Tokyo Tower. Actually, your precious team warrior helped me with that part. Masato, don't do this! Masato is dead. You may call me Harry. Harry? Give me a status report. We are in position. Okay, move out. Take a good look, Maki. You're looking at the true face of justice. Huh? Masato, please don't do this. I know my Masato is in there somewhere. <laughs> Tonoyama, I'll have to ask you to come with me. No! You are the one who should wake up, Maki. Police Town has betrayed you. The members of Warrior are all dead. There's no one left to help you now, Maki. No, there must be. <laughs> that can't be good for the infrastructure. Well, Neo Tokyo Tower, this looks like goodbye. Huh? What is it? A pink cockroach! Oh, ah! God. I told you my little pinky would get huh? us out! Oh, God! Stinky! Oh, man! You only three minutes left for this day! Oh. Oh. Sure thing! Right away! Hey, bring us each a couple of beers, too. Yuji will pay for it. What, again? Hey, come on, buy us ladies a drink. Huh? Interrupt this broadcast for a special news. Yuji, turn it up. Huh? These are not scenes from a movie, but actual live footage from Neo Tokyo Tower. Are those things really machines? Their movements are much more agile than the Mecha Cops. The Armor Riot Squad's getting slaughtered. What the hell is going on? And we can't get in touch with Maki. What should we do? <sighs> Harry, Mr. Tonoyama is here to see you. At last we meet, Harry. What the hell are those metal monster women doing out there? <gasps> it's you. Sheguru Tonoyama. <laughs> now we have all of the main characters. It can't be. I already killed you. The armed riot squad was completely destroyed? Well, for God's sakes, do something! Huh? <laughs> One more move, and the next face you see will be your own ass! You slimy bastard!
Bastard! I can't believe you betrayed your fellow officers! And where is Maki? You have 30 seconds to explain. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a very important man who was interested in black diamonds. But the man was greedy and didn't want to use his own money. So he used his powerful position to reallocate government funds. When he realized that a young officer was onto him, he had the officer and the evidence destroyed. The young officer had a girlfriend who wanted to continue his investigation. So the man created the Warrior Project to distract her. The Warrior Project was something her boyfriend had wanted to establish, so she devoted all her energy to Warrior, in his memory. But Warrior has done far better than you ever expected, and it's become a nuisance. So you had the Armored Riot Squad take care of them. You never were one to get your own hands dirty, were you? Maki, this is for you. Kill the man who slaughtered your warriors simply because they were too close to the truth. Take your revenge. <laughs> What's wrong? You know you want to do it. Right now you could even tear him apart with your bare hands. Avenge their deaths! You know you want to. Be strong, Maki. Let go of your small sense of justice. Think of your fallen comrades. Feel your hatred grow within you. Yes. That's it. Please, don't kill me. I'm begging you, please. Please! Pull the trigger, my love. Pull the trigger and join me. No, please! Do it, Maki! Do it now! Please! I can't. I'm not a murderer. Uh, you're even weaker than I thought. I can't believe you won't crush this cockroach! Guess I'll have to do it myself. <gasps> Hmm, so you and Tonoyama were in bed together. Let's talk about those things that are tearing up Neo Tokyo Tower. You knew about those too, didn't you? No! I don't know where those things came from. Please, you've got to stop them or all of Neo Tokyo will be destroyed. The nerve asking us for a favor. You did try and kill us, you know. This is not a pretty picture, even on video. We don't have anyone left. Please, only Warrior can save us. We need your help. Let's get one thing straight. This'll cost you. You've had your revenge. Now please, call off your androids. My revenge means nothing. I did all of this just for you, Maki. I want you to come with me. What? I'm a very powerful man now. I can rule over any country I want. And I want you with me, Maki. You, you are a... Monster! Hmm. Put it down, Ruby. But, sir... Do it. Please, Masato. This isn't you. I know you... Lock her up, but don't lay a finger on her. Now I'm ready to do some damage. Hmm. Not bad, huh? <laughs> I can't fit! Not uh, home? What are you doing? Ow! I wanted to be strong and powerful just like you two are. But like this? That thing is so cute, I think I'm gonna barf! Come on, Yuji, let's blow this joint! You got it! Fasten your seatbelts! I've got explicit orders from Mr. Harry. Keep an eye on her until the show is over. Yes, ma'am. She should be conscious soon. If she tries anything at all, don't hesitate. Kill her. not going to let you get away with this, Masato. I am a member of Team Warrior. Dear God, it's like a slaughterhouse down there. If we don't put a stop to this, there'll be no police force left. <gasps> Maki! You're not. You're still alive. Hi, Maki! Where? Hey, Rocky! The woman has made contact with that chopper. It's not listed in the police database. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well done, warrior. Huh? What'd you say? Those machines! They're receiving signals from a unit in the tower's central logic core! So if we destroy the logic core, those machines will stop! And the logic core is at the very top of Neo Tokyo Tower! You've got to hurry! Otherwise, Police Town and even Neo Tokyo itself will be destroyed! We've got to get you down first! There's no time! Warrior has a job to do! I created this team to operate outside of an antiquated system. A team that can identify a situation and act accordingly, without bureaucratic interference. A team that would combine their talents to create an unstoppable force. That is my warrior. Don't you worry about me! Show them what Warrior can do! Don't hold back! Anything and no thing apology? Ah! I can shoot as much as I want! Yeah! Anything goes! And you know I got your back, sisters! Let's go kick some terrorist ass! Yeah! yeah! I'm counting on you, Warrior. Now I actually have a reason to kill you. I've been with Harry since the very beginning. I won't let some blue-haired bitch come between us. Are you scared? I'm going to kill you very, very slowly. I don't care. What? Team Warrior must have reached the upper tower by now, despite any obstacles. Even after you kill me and I'm gone, it doesn't end here. They will carry out their orders. They will take over my mission. Just like I did for Masato. So go ahead and shoot me. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing is going to interfere with Harry's plans. I'm going to kill off Team Warrior first. <laughs> then I'll come back and take care of you. I've hacked into the security system. Okay, one open entrance to the logic core coming right up. Huh? <laughs> oh, right! Let's hear it for my special gunpowder blend! What? It fixed itself! A self-healing program? I've never seen one as advanced and as fast as that. It must be the Black Diamonds. Outstanding. That means I can keep shooting forever. Rio, Nonval and I'll cover you while you take care of business. What are you talking about? <laughs> about that, Rio. <laughs> I guess I can't fit through the door. Exactly. Now move out, Rio! Hey, little girl, want some candy? Where are your glasses? I always loved the way you looked in those round frames. <laughs> then I'm glad I lost them. This is so much fun! I never got to shoot this much before! <laughs> Damn it! They're too close for me to lay down any cover fire! Rio, go straight! When you get to the end of the corridor, turn left! <laughs> Team Warrior will put an end to all of this. And I am a member of Team Warrior. I couldn't care less about that plan. I'll leave it behind if you come with me. So, let's finish that honeymoon. Is this the logic core? Okay, push this button to activate timer. Why didn't Numble just put a voice recognition system in this? There. Three minutes. Whew. Well, that's over. 
<clears throat> You're starting to get on my nerves. Let's see if you've improved. <clears throat> One move and I'll blow your damn head off. What's the matter, Maki? You're not my Masato. I don't know you. That's true, I'm not. But I thought that perhaps... Well, you'd understand. Hey, what are you doing? Just as I thought. I'll stop you if it's the last thing I do. You won't get away with this. So then you insist on being my enemy. If that's the way you want it, Maki. Little bunny. So I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> Not bad. These almost feel real. But tell me, does it hurt when I do this? <laughs> well, it looks like the tables have turned. Uh-oh. I better get out of here. Hey, if you like breathing, you better run too. <laughs> if you shoot me now, then Warrior will hunt you down. You will never escape. Warrior will see to that. Maki, you've grown so strong. I should have come for you much sooner. <laughs> that bitch, she's going to pay. What the hell? What the hell's going on? This is not good. Uh, no! Let's get out of here. on the terrorist incident at Neo Tokyo Tower yesterday, which is being called one of the most brutal attacks in recent years. Unfortunately, many questions remain unanswered regarding this event. Meanwhile, police have found the body of former Prime Minister Shigeru Tonoyama in a hotel room in the tower. Police are investigating a possible link between the terrorist activities and Tonoyama's murder. The chief of the Metropolitan Police and Police Town has accepted full responsibility for this incident and announced his resignation today. In other news, Michael Jackson announced his engagement to Japanese country star Anna Kitagawa. Hasn't anyone heard from her? Hey, give me some shampoo, will ya? Sure, here you go. Cool, thanks! Man, without that warrior paycheck, I am seriously hurting for cash. Oh, please, you were always hurting for cash, even when you did have a warrior paycheck. If I don't shoot something soon, I'm gonna explode! Uh oh Looks like Maya's little problem's getting out of control again. How about some conditioner? Yep, here. How about some money? Cram it, Blondie. Ow! The new chief's coming to police town today. I wonder what he's gonna be like. Uh, what difference does it make? Those higher-ups never let us shoot back. Even when those scumbags open fire first. I don't know how much more I can take. It's so frustrating. Who knows? The new chief might re-establish Warrior. In that case, I can get some government money to fund my experiments again. 
No way! Now that Maki's gone, they'll probably cut the budget. But they'll still expect Warrior to go on those dangerous missions, and they probably won't even give us a reward! You said it! Who do those fat cat bureaucrats think they are anyways? Another one.